Hey, go buddies! It is May 19th, 2010. I'm Sonic Sons. And I'm contemplating the end of school. <laughs> um, Wes, you actually graduated a while ago. Post a video, man. Um, I, uh, as I told you in my last video, finished my thesis in five days and sent it off to my teacher. And I didn't get any response. And then sent it to him again, like in a better format this time. I was like, hey, did you, um, did you get my thesis last week? Here it is again. <laughs> and like a couple more days went by. I'm like, he's a computer guy, right? So he's like, he checks his email every day, every weekday. So why isn't he responding? Um, and you know, this is that guy who I didn't attend his class for an entire semester and Possibly, you know, he's ticked off me, and I'm thinking, I hope this doesn't screw with graduation somehow. I was on the verge of emailing some other teacher, being like, hey, have you talked to Mr. So-and-so recently? Has he seen my thesis? <laughs> um, but, uh, there's, we are, our email system is via Google, the Gmail thing, and that is built in instant messenger, and I came up with that brilliant idea. So I waited for the teacher to sign on, and I was like, hey, did you get my thesis? And he said yes. And I was like, okay, just checking. I didn't want to tick him off or anything. Um, and then simultaneously, I was figuring on... Uh, okay, so the Japanese minor. According to my Japanese teacher back home, I just need to get a couple of classes within the Japanese culture subset. And I didn't get those classes back at Carthage. Partially due to a somewhat lack of existence of those classes. Like, there was... There was one I know of, but I had a required computer class at that time, so I couldn't do it. Anyway, so I, I thought, okay, I'll take culture classes during this my last semester, and maybe I'll sign off, and then I'll get that minor. Um, and I should have done this a little earlier, but I couldn't do it previous to coming to Japan, because I had no idea what classes I would take. My advisor had no clue. <laughs> he had no clue about a lot of things. I kind of wish you'd known a, just a little bit more about Japan. It's, it's okay, but... <laughs> So, I had to get a friend over stateside to go to the office and get the forms, and then they told him I'm supposed to do this way in advance, like a year in advance, because the Japanese minor is actually a um, self-designed minor. It's not like an official thing yet. And then, like, I have to get people's signatures, and then I have to finish this semester of Japan in order to retroactively get the minor on the thing, and I was like, oh, never mind. In the midst of all that, they're talking to the registrar people, and then uh, the registrar guy emails me like, hey, uh, how did you plan to graduate at all? I, I see you haven't taken the senior seminar class, which is the one where you do the thesis. And I was like, friggin'. <laughs> I emailed my teacher, I'm like, could you please just tell this guy for me that my thesis is done and I get credit for this class? I said that in a very polite way, though. And, and he did. He emailed him, and he sent me a copy of the email, and the guy emailed me, and said, okay, great, you're on, you're on track to graduate. I'm like, yes, because graduation is this Saturday. Uh, it's Wednesday now. Oh my gosh, people. <laughs> oh my gosh. It's the end. The end of, of, of class, sort of. Also, I have classes over here in Japan, which I've been skipping a lot. <laughs> They're not the worst classes I've ever taken. Um, like, I, I don't know. Um, one of them is really good. It's the cross-cultural activities class, which is really like a club disguised as a class. Like, we sang Down by the Bay um, last Thursday when we last met. <laughs> you know, Down by the Bay, where the watermelons go. <laughs> and, then, and then the guy, it was just a student actually leading this. Like, they didn't even need a teacher to do it. The teacher was like, oh, just, you know, students come up with things to do and do them. Um, and then he was explaining rhyme, because at the end of the, the, the little verse or whatever, like, you know, Have you ever seen a whale with a polka dot tail down by the bay? And he was like, okay, whale and tail, I see that rhymes. And by the way, this guy's a native Japanese, and he moves on to, so it's, it's just like fox and fax. <laughs> it's like, um, no, not, not, those, are, those don't actually rhyme. We broke up into groups to make up our own rhymes. My group ended up, have you ever seen a kite having a fight? But the other ones were like, 
Have you ever seen a pig wearing a bag? Uh, have you ever seen a bird knocking its head? <laughs> but it was fun. Even and then after that, after we were singing this song and not learning what the concept of rhyme is, uh, we played uh, four square. I haven't played that in years. <laughs> it's so cool. Anyways, that's one class I like, right? One class I don't like, uh, my kanji class, which is basically he has flashcards. It's like, okay, what's this kanji? I'm like, I don't know. Uh, okay, what's this kanji? Okay, I don't know. <laughs> this is partially due to my incredible lack of studying. Um, but even if I was studying, just like, I can read out flashcards to myself, guys. I don't really need you to do that for me. Um, overall, it, it, it's not a terrible class load, right? But like, you know, senioritis, right? Well, I'm about to graduate. As of Saturday, I don't, I don't like, what, what the heck am I doing in class exactly? Well, I'm going to learn Japanese. Of course I'm going to learn Japanese. But I do that talking to friends or watching TV, you know, Japanese TV, that is. Um, so it's like, eh, yeah, you know. I mean, there's a couple barriers left in there. Like, I am on a student visa, and I think if I completely skip class, like, forever, then they might deport me or something. I don't want to do that. And, yes, I could get this Japanese minor if I do well enough for the culture classes. But that's not tremendously important. <laughs> for the, okay, but I want to get deported. Yeah, I don't want to... <laughs> So, I don't know. I, I slept through class today. Not really on purpose, but I think maybe some part of my brain recognizes that the, the, the class hours from 9 to noon most days, it's like the most useless time of the day for me, so I'm automatically sleeping through that time. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Uh, I do know that in six months from now, I really am done with class, and that'll be great. Oh my gosh, people. Oh my gosh, how far I've come in four years. I mean, uh, how, how, how much various things sucked uh, near the end of high school, and how glad I was to be done with high school, and, and then I spent four years with college and slowly getting over my stress disorder and, and all that stuff, um, which I blamed for my absence, which I have had some stress disorder, like I wake up, my god, my heart's beating so fast. Though there have been, more recently, it's just been like, oh, I just slept through it without really stress disorder implications. Thing. Um, speaking of class, one class that's not ending, but rather it's just beginning, is, well, not beginning right now, but whatever, uh, me teaching English. This is really cool, right? Um, and it's kind of one that uh, recently, a couple of my students who are Korean decided to teach me couple of words in Korean, so here's a clip of that. <coughs> I wanted to record my lack of Korean knowledge. And and then what is prime number? Sosu. <laughs> yeah. Sosu. It is tasty, it's mashta. Oh yes, really. <laughs> And I'm such a comedian somehow, it's amazing. <laughs> He's very excellent. <laughs> excellent. Because he is very good at Korean. I thought the whole point was external. I'm bad at Korean, and that's why you keep laughing. External drive. External drive. External I don't know, it ends with hado. Wee jang hado. Jang hado. Wee jang hado. Wee jang hado. Oh. Hado. Wee jang hado. Hado. Wee jang hado. Wejang hard. Wejang hard. It sounds like Korean. Yeah. Oh, good. Oh. Except when I screw it up. In case you're wondering, those words have no significance or relation to each other at all. So soon came up when I randomly started writing prime numbers on a board, and that was the first word in Korean I learned was so soon. And then. Somehow we got polar bear and external hard drive and all these. <laughs> I can't make a full sentence in Korean at all. I know like just those few words and really just the one, so soon. Um, but anyway, that is what's going on with me at the meeting moment. I'm gonna put more updates on this freaking blog of mine to be nice and stuff. Thanks for watching. See you there.